Gives you balance. My cashew milk. Snacks. Maddie snacks. There's me. That's us. We're supposed to call in about 10 minutes. We're talking about first time RV purchases and our experience with it. So it's still all fresh in our mind. So hopefully if you guys tuned in, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it and I hope it was informative. And if you did not catch it and you are thinking about the RV lifestyle, make sure and go to the RV show USA, uh, go to their Facebook in the link below and check out their live stream from July 12th. That's today. All right, this is the RV show USA. Thank y'all for being with us. I'm your host, Alan Warren. A native Texan and all blah, blah, blah. All right, let me tell you what we're going to do to start off today's show. we got a bunch of people who are listening, not just RVers, but more people who are actually, well, they're not RVers. Most of the time on the show, we talk about subjects that current RV owners are interested in, but for the next couple of segments, this is going to be dedicated to listeners who are not, not yet RVers. Who better than somebody that's pretty new to RV, right? That's exactly who we've got on our guest line, a young couple, but they're fairly new to RV. Matt and Blair Wyatt from the, the Wandering Wyatt's YouTube channel. Hey guys. I think it went well. Um, it was a lot shorter than the last one because we had two segments. Last time we had three. It's really hard to condense all of your thoughts in like a five minute time span. Hopefully they like this enough to have us on again uh, in the future. So, of course, we'll keep you guys updated if we are on that show again. And... We're going to go home, we're going to have some dinner, we're going to show you guys our mattress because we keep talking about how we upgraded our mattress whenever we got our RV and we've had a few questions about what mattress we have um, and I honestly don't know because we got it from the dealer so we'll get home and we'll talk to you guys about that. What are y'all doing out there? Little musketeers? <laughs> Oh man, y'all are cute. <laughs> well, two of us are. And there's Crips over here. Oh my gosh. What up? Oh, Bergie. <laughs> Come on in, kitty. Oh my gosh, every time. So, tell us about, about the mattress. It's soft. Yes, it is. I, I don't know, I don't even know what a mattress is. <laughs> Um, we just got whatever was soft. I just want to sit. Oh no. Is there no lake? So it was made in some unknown country. Alright guys, so this is the mattress that we have. Uh, is it under there? No. I took the tag off. Is it on the other side? Wait, I took it off. Did you? But usually they have like Illegal? a label here. I don't know, that's not. So it's nice and soft. Bring it out of there. <laughs> I know I said I was going to tell you guys about our mattress, but I, I did. I took off the tag whenever we first got it. The deal with RV mattresses is that the ones that they come with are really, really crummy. It's a really cheap mattress, and that was one thing that we learned immediately because we brought the bed down, we sat on it, and I was like, what the heck is this? This is not a mattress. And then they offer you an upgrade whenever you're signing the papers on, oh, on your stuff. It. Yeah. No, they're like, as soon as you're you're doing the upgrade, or like the papers and they offer the upgrade, they're like, hey, why don't you just go check out the mattress um, and they hand you a like measuring tape. So you have an objective at that point. You feel like you're already choosing the mattress. As soon as you came back, we're like, oh, it's this size and yeah, we'll go ahead and upgrade. It was something yeah. along those lines, so yeah. Yeah, and they, they basically just add it on for a few bucks a week. Of course you can order your own. It's probably gonna be cheaper in the long run. They ship it to you. Uh, we got it shipped to us, 
and it comes in a box. I mean, it's it's vacuum we'll sealed. Yeah. yeah, it's it's, it's vacuum sealed. It's funny because we got the mattress before we got our RV. <laughs> That's true. We did. Our mattress was delivered to our house before we got the RV. I, like I said, I'm not quite sure what mattress it is, and I apologize to you guys. It's definitely um, a mattress that's specific for this RV because it's rounded at the top. Over here on the bed. So we've got square edges right here. Is it rounded on the top? Yes. And then the other two edges over here are round because it fits this shape. So it's specific for RVs, um, but they did, yeah, they they sold us on it, but we love it. I love this mattress and our bed is so comfortable. I feel like I'm, I sleep so well here. I think because of being in like this little nook area and it gets really dark in the RV and it's so cozy and then we have the, the sound of like the outdoors out there, there's crickets and, and cicadas and everything. Pretty it's much just, if we didn't buy the RV, we would have still bought the mattress. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> probably it's a great it's a great mattress. Um, Forget the RV, but I'll still take that mattress. But if if any of you guys are interested in a mattress like this, I think that all you would have to do is call your local RV dealer and see what mattresses they recommend for the RVs, and it's probably going to be the same one. They have different levels, so they have one that was actually harder than this one, but it's still the same price. More more cloudy. We love it. Cloudy. Cloudy. Yes. Three packages from people, and one of them is <laughs> it's a it's a cat leash um, harness thingy, and says now Matt can't say no, and says may Burgundy enjoy many more trips. So I wanted to take a moment to say thank you so much to the sweet people that sent us these goodies to our PO box. To be honest, I hadn't checked it in a while because, I mean, we don't really get a lot sent that way. Sometimes I'll have, like, supplements or random things shipped to the P.O. box. But I hadn't honestly expected anybody to send us stuff from the YouTube channel. And so I was having kind of a rough morning this morning, just in my own head. You guys know that um, I have anxiety, and a lot of the time it'll kind of take hold of me first thing in the morning and so I start my day out with not the best attitude. I was feeling kind of mentally drained and so I pulled up to the gym and I was like, you know what, I'm just not feeling a workout today. I decided to go to a coffee shop. I was going to get some work done. Um, I was going to go do some shopping for our care packages and because I know that doing things for others can help lift you up whenever you're not feeling um, the best mentally. So, I was driving to the coffee shop and I passed by the post office and I was like, you know what, I haven't checked the P.O. box. We probably have a bunch of junk mail in there like Bed Bath & Beyond coupons and stuff. So I was like, I'm gonna go clean it out. And we actually had some packages in there and you guys, it's it's crazy how this happened. With with my faith, I always, it's just funny how, how God works to me. Um, usually whenever I'm feeling down, there's always little reminders that we are cared about more than we ever know. And, you know, I fully believe that people here on earth are used to, to show that and be reminders of the light and the love in this world. And so to see that we got these little goodies, um, I know it's like just small gestures from people, but it made the biggest difference in the world to me today. And, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Just thank you guys. Thank you so much. I'm actually going to try out Burgundy's cat harness right now because I think that's awesome that this exists and I'm so excited for Burgundy to go on our next trip with us. And I let Matt know that we got these goodies and I'll have to, um, you know, show them to him. But thank you guys so much and just the kindness and the support of people on YouTube is awesome. So I'm, and I know that I'll be, I'll be over this, um, in a few minutes. I'll be over this tomorrow. It's just, like I said, I, I've always, on this channel, I've always been open and honest with you guys, um, with anybody that, that comes across the videos. And no, Matt and I are very happy people, um, but I also have anxiety. And sometimes it's not, it's not, you know, my favorite thing to show, but I do want to show you guys that, 
despite being as happy as I possibly can be, um, I still struggle from time to time and Matt's an amazing person to help me get through that because he's so calm and laid back um, and I'm not. <laughs> so it definitely helps to have somebody to support you and balance you out. And then having these little random acts of kindness from people that watch your channels, it's just amazing. You guys, I, there are no words um, to describe just how I feel. You know, something as simple as like a protein bar in Wisconsin. And I'm so excited to read this book. I've heard about it, but yeah. So thank you guys, not only to the people that sent these, but to just you guys for watching the videos and supporting and encouraging. Um, and I hope you guys are having a good day. And if you are having a rough day, know that you are amazing and you are loved more than you'll ever know. Isn't that really, really sweet? <laughs> well, those are, those are for me. This is really nice. Like kind of what I needed today. that. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Cutie pie. Bus, let's tell everybody how you're doing. Are you feeling okay? Are you getting better? Good boy. Good boy. Oh my goodness. Come here, kitty. Kitty. Leave my camera alone. Okay. Look at you, kitty. Yeah. Okay. It fits. She's actually purring, but I don't know. I don't think she likes it. See, it's okay. See, it's not so bad. Kitty. She actually is purring. I don't know. Did you like it? This means you can come with us on our next trip, kitty kitty. There you go. You and Buzz Buzz are matching. Think that she might have to get a little used to it. And then like the dog, she won't even know what's there. Matt can't say no. Burgundy will come with us on our next trip. Just wait. And she was purring whenever I put it on her earlier. Because you were touching and petting and scratching her, I'm sure. She walks kind of funny with it on, but I think she'll get used to it. She seemed real excited. <laughs> She's still relaxed. She's gonna be with us. All of her friends in the woods are making Next her. trip, you guys get excited. Oh yeah. Isn't that cute? Oh, Brady. Good boy. Brady, good boy, you look so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. He looks, no, no, leave him on. Buzz, oh, you're so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh. Stay. Brady. Hey. Hey. Oh, oh my goodness. Look, Buzz, Buzz. Buzz. Buzz, Buzz. Buzz. Hey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and. Those are for me. Those are yours. I need to read that. Excited about this. This will be really good for. Try to eat my book. 
Ow! Ridiculous. This will be good for us to read okay, together. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope. I guess we hope. I, I really hope. I, he doesn't, to be honest, you guys, he doesn't know what's going on with the channel. Film, edit, comment. Every now and then uh, I'll say, hey I'll Matt, film. can you respond to this comment? Will you film something? What's up guys? I'm Matt. Today we're just hanging out. Am I right? No, I've gotten better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> once again, thank you guys to the very, very sweet people that sent stuff to our PR box. That was that was amazing. Much needed. That was amazing. Definitely reached us at the right time. So thank you for watching, and we hope you have a great week. That's gonna be it for today. Have fun out there. Bye.